we doing? <clears throat> yeah, this is Steve. Sorry for the... I've had a uh, cough kind of thing going on for, I don't know, a few weeks. So, just a quick update on uh, stuff going on for Las Vegas. Uh, things are evolving as we speak. So, they're, they're going to change. Uh, they're going to develop. And there'll be more information coming out soon. I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, what, currently, what it looks like is going to happen out there is... Um, well, I mean, you guys got to buy your tickets. You got to make your arrangements, stay where you're going to stay and all that kind of stuff. But what we're trying to do is put together a, an informal meet and greet Wednesday night. The concert's Thursday. So some people, I think, might make a choice to go out a little early instead of trying to rush around at the last minute. But, you know, if you're there early and you would like to, I think we're going to try to put together a, a meet and greet somewhere very close to the, probably close to the Westgate, I would think. And... Maybe even at the Westgate, we're not sure yet what we're gonna where we're gonna have it. That's one of the things we have to nail down, and you know, just an informal thing. You know, get together, get something to eat. You know, you might grab something a bite to eat. Uh, it might be a bar there. You can get something to drink if you want, and uh, just get to you know. I'd love to meet everybody. So if we, if you're there, I'd love to meet you. Uh, say hello, spend a little few minutes talking with you. You know, uh, so that's what it's all about. Is just get to meet other angels, other people that you. Uh, you know, like reactors and other people you may have seen or heard of, you know. Uh, that's Wednesday night. I'm not sure. We don't have time. We don't have anything yet because we don't have a venue first. And then we'll, uh, once we nail that down, we'll, we'll get it all, that information to you. Very informal. Nothing fancy about it, okay? Uh, the next day, the day of the concert, there's going to be a, another meet and greet. That was going to be the more, it's not formal in any way, but it's going to be more of the, uh, one that I think everybody that's there might want to try to attend because it gets closer to the concert date or time. I, we don't have a time yet. We don't also don't have a location, but we do have people working on it. So that information can be coming out real soon. And you might want to check out uh, Angelina Jordan Fan Club, The Shield. Uh, there's some of the folks over there are really working on this real hard. So uh, if you want to stay there, you might get the most current and quickest information from that website. Uh, just a heads up on that. Uh, if not, I'll do my best to try to get the information to you as, you know, as soon as I get it. And uh, we'll kind of keep you informed so you can make plans for your day and so on. So that's that. I think that's all there is to tell you right now. Everybody knows the concerts are 7 and 9.30. Uh, there's plenty of seats still available, so make sure to get your tickets as early as you can. And um, we'll see you there. I don't know what else I can say, right? So, number one, get your tickets. Number two, make your travel arrangements. Number three, make sure you have a place to stay. And after that, hopefully you can join us at some of the meet and greets. I don't know if there's going to be anything else planned specifically around the event. I know we did a, uh, we did a special thing out at Portsmouth, the Dancing Angels in the Park. I don't know if we're going to do anything like that or not. I, I don't, don't know yet at this point. Uh, so... We will keep you posted as we firm things up and come up with a definite plan. Uh, and it may develop very much right up to closer to the date of the event. So uh, I'll try to keep you updated as frequently as possible. All right, guys, just want to let you know what's going on. Can't wait to meet you all out there. And I hope that everybody gets their tickets. And if you've never been to an Angelina Jordan show, you're in for the, uh, the treat of a lifetime, I, in my opinion. And if you have been before, you know what you're getting, you know, what you're in for. So um, I know for me, I was really honest, honest to goodness. I was for nearly a month afterwards. It was like, was I really there? Did I, did I actually go? I was, I was in a whole different spot, man. Uh, I went back to work and it was like I was in a fog. I was able to function okay, but I wasn't. It's like I almost wasn't. It's like I wasn't there, kind of. You know, I was still in between. Portsmouth and my, my where I live and work uh, somehow floating around up in the atmosphere. So yeah, it, it was it was a whole different experience. I, I mean that's how that that's a way to try to explain it. But I've been trying to I wanted to put out. I hope I can get it done before this concert in uh, February. But uh, the engineers concert on the 29th. I've been wanting to tell that story that day, but I just it's so hard. I can't really come up with the right words. I don't think there are words to describe it. And. As much as I talk and as much as I say and some of the words I come up with, putting the right combination together to describe a lot of stuff about Angelina just doesn't seem like it, 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 it works. The current 
vocabulary that I have access to uh, doesn't get the job done the way I'd like to get it done. So I'll keep working on it. We'll figure out something. Uh, maybe we'll have to go to Esperanto and uh, make up a whole new uh, set of terms. But uh, we'll keep we'll keep going with what we got until we find something better, I guess, right? So have a nice day, guys. Thanks for watching. It's just a real quick thing here just to kind of let, let you know what's happening. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, hey. Don't you know? Call it. I can't walk. Because I love it too much. Call it a trap. I can't walk out. Because I love it too much, baby. Oh, don't you know? Caught in a trap I can't walk Because I love Too much baby set I think for a four week engagement and it got extended out to almost eight years by the time they were done and then Elvis uh, ended his career at that point uh, and the reason why I played this is because of course Angelina has covered Suspicious Minds which we just saw she's also covered a couple other Elvis tunes and Elvis basically restarted and ended his career at this hotel, the International Hotel, which is now the Westgate Resorts. It's, it had a couple other names, too, I think, in between there. And now, you know, Angelina's picking up the fumbled ball and uh, running with it. And I'm not going to say it was actually fumbled, but she's she's carrying on. And Elvis ended his career, and Angelina's just starting her. So hopefully Angelina's has a better ending. But I think I think that his Elvis's engagement in, in Las Vegas, he got to be the reason a lot of people went to Las Vegas was to see Elvis perform. They gambled, they did the other stuff and all that too. But the 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 draw was Elvis. And he did over 600 shows, all sold out, every one. That's saying something. And I guess nobody, I guess the public never got tired of Elvis, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> something to think about. Angelina's not going to be there all the time. She's going to be going right now world tour and, uh, well, hopefully a, a, a tour. I'm not sure where she's going, but um, get out there. She'll be putting out new music, new albums, new everything else, and uh, she's off to the races if she wants to be. She's 18 years old. She's an adult. She can make her own decisions. But I know she loves her family and they're her rock. So I don't think she's I don't think she's doing much without their uh, input and advice and guidance and support and love all the above. Right. So. While I believe that Angelina may eclipse even Elvis at some point in time as an icon, a musical icon. I think she has enough good stuff in her life. Not that Elvis didn't, but enough good stuff that will hopefully keep her on the rails, okay? Um, and I don't know if she'll even uh, go that way. You know, there's a lot of performers, a lot of artists, a lot of actors that lead a happy life after they get out of the movies and singing or whatever else they were doing. You know, they just go quietly and they just live their life quietly, okay? They fade away from the view of the, you know, the paparazzi and everybody else, people lose interest. You know, if you're not uh, crashing cars and uh, doing drugs and causing a ruckus, uh, if you're not doing that stuff, you kind of fade out of the public eye. Nobody wants to see just you and whoever you're with holding hands, walking down the sidewalk. Who wants to see that, right? <laughs> Who wants to see the good stuff? And uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that we don't 
put a little more emphasis on the good stuff so that it, that gets to be that gets to be the hero, not all the other stuff. But anyway, let's move on. Thanks for watching, guys. I did this video a little different because I've been having some issues. Uh, I was trying to get you the best quality video I could with uh, what I have to work with, I guess. Let's put it that way. So the video looks pretty good to me. Uh, so I just added on this little bit of commentary to uh, because I actually sort of have to. I can't just replay the Elvis video and call it a day. I'm supposed to try to add something of value. I'm not sure I did that. Oh, here's something I think may be of value to some, some of my viewers. Uh, there's a group of us that are certainly planning on attending the concert. We got tickets and all that. We're making arrangements. But we're also going to try to put together a couple of uh, meet and greets. We're going to try to do something on Wednesday night. Uh, we're also going to the concert's on Thursday, the 29th of February. And we're also going to try to uh, put together something a few hours before the 7 o'clock concert. Um, I think similar to Portland where I think the meet and greet was 1 to uh, 5, I think. And then the concert started at 7, so you got a couple hours in there to go get something to eat quick, freshen up, and then get to the concert. Um, I think most of the people that went to the concert were in a, you know, a near, nearby vicinity. Portland is not a huge city, but it's a little tough to get around in, in spots, but not a huge city. So I think that uh, there was enough time for everybody to kind of, you know, take care of business, if you will. So we're trying to do that. We're trying to set it up. As soon as I get some details, I'll post them for you. I'll let you know. I'll probably do a couple of maybe streaming videos or something just to kind of fill you in. And I think that's all I got right now. I can't wait. After Portland, though, I don't know. It took almost a month to come down out of the clouds uh, from Portland. I don't know. If I do a double header, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I may just stay up there. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. It was... An amazing experience. If you've never been to see Angelina and you're going to go this time, just you, you won't believe the entire experience. I'm just going to tell you that, okay? It's just a whole different environment and atmosphere that you're going to be used to. The angels all seem to be such a loving, kind, uh, nice, generous, beautiful group. And everybody willing to help. Everybody's nice. There's Everybody's polite. It's like you know, you, you almost got to look around. Say, Am I on planet Earth? What, how'd this happen? And then, of course, Angelina's like to you go to the concert later in the day after spending the day with a bunch of angels all flocked around there. And I mean, that's just an unbelievable, it's an unbelievable experience. That's all I can say. I don't know. No, I don't have the words. I've been trying to put together, I want to put together a presentation on that whole day up in Portsmouth. And probably I'm not going to get it done before I go to this next one. Because <laughs> uh, it's it's so hard to come up with the words. You know, it just is. It's difficult to come up with the right words. You know, everything you say either seems like it's uh, disingenuous or sometimes it seems like it's uh, falls so for, so falls short of the mark. So, f so far short of the mark that it doesn't do what you're trying to say justice and it just doesn't look right, you know? So anyway, let's get, let's wrap it up. So there was a little something maybe some of you would be interested in. I'd love to meet all you guys, anybody I haven't met before, like up in Portsmouth. Um, if you go to Vegas and I, I'm planning on being there, I would love to just say hello, you know, if nothing else, or meet you, shake your hand, give you a hug, whatever the case might be. And yeah, I would love to say hello to y'all in person. Uh, Sometimes, too, I think, you you know, what you see on the screen right here, that guy right there, there he is. That's what you're going to get. I'm me, okay? I don't act. I don't put on a face. I don't put on a persona. It's me, okay? This is me. This is how I talk. This is how I act all the time, okay? Believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be, uh, uh, and I love, you know, I love being around people and with people. So don't be afraid if you see me. Don't be afraid to come up to me. I'm uh, I'm all there, me. I'm all open. Okay, love to see you. Uh, spend a little time with you. Talk to you. You know, best I can. And um, 
I, I, I really look forward to these events because I like getting out with the people, especially Angelina people, the angels, okay? So we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.